Here's a little tip to go along with Little Micro Shift. While Little Micro Shift is fantastic at giving width to anything you put through it, vocals, background vocals, guitars, strings, whatever, uh, this is a spot you might not have thought of. I take Little Micro Shift and put it on my reverbs. Why would you do that? Well, that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, it doesn't work in every case, that's for sure, because it, it adds a kind of a chorusing effect. And while I love chorus on my reverbs, not everybody does. But it has a couple of interesting side effects as well. It pushes all the reverb off to the side, so it gives you some extra space to work with, especially if you're doing big ambient kind of things, which is what I'm going to show you here today. Um, and it also kind of lifts the level and seems to brighten and several other cool kind of effects that you might not have thought of happened if you hadn't tried it out. So let's give it a listen and uh, then you can see for yourself if you like it. There's a couple other things we'll point out as we go, but let's take a listen first. Here's a track that's just a cut up uh, rhythm track. I made some space in it so we could hear the verbs going on once we put it on there. So a simple kind of chopped up thing. I'm going to put on this giant uh, convolution verb, so it's lots and lots of space on there. Which is a huge kind of room there uh, and lots of depth to it. Uh, now I'm going to start that up again and I'm going to drop a little micro shift out of bypass so you can hear exactly what it does uh, just on its own. I've got it on the third setting there, which is kind of the loosest delay and pitch wise because uh, it's just my favorite and it's also the most dramatic effect. So here we go. So you can hear that motion in there now too, which is kind of cool. It also, like I said, it kind of seems to brighten it up and uh, gives it the perception of being louder. So you can actually pull it back once the little micro shift is on there. Let's listen to it without it again, and then with, and then I can pull it back and you can still hear most of the effect. I still, I just totally love that motion in there when it's happening like that. You can also use the mix control to mix it in if that's just too much and mixing it back in makes it even more chorus. So it could be way too much or it could be exactly what you want. But that's a little tip for you today for Little Microshift.